The sacrament of penance and reconciliation is made of four main parts, or actions, three of which are performed by the penitent, and the fourth by the priest. The first act of the penitent is repentance or contrition, which is sorrow for one's sin and a hatred for sin, combined with the intention to avoid sin in the future. It is the primary act of the penitent. All contrition is based on faith in God's love for us. The next act of the penitent is confession of sin. After a deep examination of conscience, during which one prayerfully reflects, the penitent verbally confesses his or her sins to God through a priest. Final act of the penitent is the intention to make reparation by accepting a penance, which is a prayer or action that repairs the harm caused by sin. Penance is aimed towards our spiritual health. The act of the priest is called absolution. During this act, the priest pardons our sins in the name of God and the Church. It is possible through the power that Christ has given to the Church. The celebration of the sacrament involves several integral steps. First, the priest and the penitent both prepare. The priest prays for enlightenment from the Holy Spirit, while the penitent makes an examination of conscience. Next, the priest graciously welcomes the penitent. At this time, the priest may choose to read or recite the Word of God. Then the penitent offers confession. The priest may offer help and counsel as needed. He then proposes a penance, which the penitent agrees to. Next, the penitent prays the act of contrition. Then the priest absolves the penitent by extending his hands, pronouncing the words of absolution, and making the sign of the cross. Finally, the priest offers a proclamation of praise or dismissal. In order for the sacrament of penance and reconciliation to be efficacious, certain words and actions must be carried out. As established earlier, the penitent must repent and confess his or her sins. Yet the most essential words of penance are in the priest's prayer of absolution when he proclaims, I absolve you, while holding his hands above the confessor. The raising of the hands symbolizes the priest calling down the Holy Spirit so the penitent may be forgiven and filled with God. Then the priest makes the sign of the cross over the penitent, which unites the sacrament with the Holy Trinity. Penance most often takes place privately, but this sacrament can also take place within a communal celebration, following the liturgy of the word and a communal prayer, asking for God's forgiveness. In emergency situations, a priest can offer general absolution.